I soaked my dirty paint brushes and palette knives in baby oil, which is actually mineral oil, overnight. I filled a jar with some strong dishwashing liquid like Dawn and put half water into the solution and I will put my brushes in there after I wipe them off with paper towel. I'll save my dishwashing solution and baby oil, mineral oil, to be used several more times. I'm saving the baby oil, which is actually mineral oil, in this plastic jar. It's okay to save it in a plastic jar because it's not a solvent. And then when I use it again, I'll pour it back into this can. I'll clean this can right now. It has some of the gunk at the bottom. And uh, a lot of the paint will settle to the bottom and I'll pour off just the good part of the baby oil. Or even if it looks like this, it's okay. It's, it's, it's not bad to use to clean the brushes. I use natural turpenoid to clean my brushes from time to time. These brushes have been cleaned and are now dry. I've used the method where I first soak them overnight in the baby oil, which is mineral oil, and then wash them with a solution of dishwashing liquid. So I like to make sure that I get some of the gunk out of the ferrules. I'm going to put this natural turpenoid in this can and give them a thorough rinsing in here. I will reuse this turpenoid. This turpenoid, it's a, a non-toxic brush cleaner. It effectively cleans and reconditions your brushes and you can rinse them out with plain water. Uh, it's a safer alternative to the traditional uh, solvents that you use to clean your brushes with. And although there's a very minor smell, it's not toxic. Also, it's non-flammable and it doesn't really irritate the skin, although I always wear gloves when I'm cleaning. And you never know if something's going to splash on you, so I wear my goggles also. Don't want to get this stuff in my eyes. So, cleaning these up. And the solution looks like a, kind of a, a light tea. Color. Like I said, these brushes have already been cleaned. I'm just kind of getting down into the ferrules. Let me slightly rinse, wipe these brushes off before I put them in the water. And what's nice is that you can rinse these in water now. And so I'll do that with all these brushes. If some of your brushes have become a little too flayed at the tips, you can use a uh, 
paper like the type of paper used for business cards. This is an old business card. And I'll just simply fold it in half, tear it, and use a bobby hairpin to clamp it. And just let it dry that way. And it'll be nice and sharp at the edge when it's dry.